everyone, welcome back to the channel and another Kitty Ares Disney's Magic Kingdoms game live stream. Today I'm going to be welcoming the final Sanderson sister into my kingdom to kind of finish up the Hocus Pocus limited time event for update 63. Wow, yet another event is coming to an end. I did uh, manage to get all the characters, the attractions, and even the ones that were in the season pass. So I thought that was... Uh, Pretty successful event, and I also got a trophy. So happy, happy, happy. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the stream today. If you guys do, don't forget to give it a big Mickey thumbs up to show love and support to the channel. And uh, without further ado, there's lots of you guys here. I would love to hear you guys' progress, of course, if you guys were able to get um, Winifred Sanderson, if you guys purchased Mary, um, Sarah, you can let me know your character levels. Just give me a little bit of a scoop of how your experience with the limited time event was, and I'll try and... Uh, read some of it out um in the meantime let's do some shout outs for some of my kitty team members that were here nice and early becky girly i see you were one of the first to discover one of the new emotes i added uh for november so if you guys want to become a kitty team member get the paw print by your name and of course get the exclusive emotes uh for when i stream well hey you know what? Becky is uh, definitely showing them off today. Hi, Seth. Hi, Alicia. How's it going, girly? Um, Alvin, nice to see you. All right. Um, I finished the event, and I'm working on my second Hocus Pocus Gold trophy. Taiwana, that is awesome. You know what? If you're able to get one, you've succeeded. If you've done two, well, I mean, you are just awesome. And three, well, you're a pro. Little greedy, but <laughs> it's awesome. Just means you've worked extra, extra hard for sure. Woo, Seth, thank you so much for the 11 months of being a kitty fan. Oh my gosh. Yes. Hi, Sevi. Can we play Ford Rush for Pickle Rick? <gasps> we mean Horde Rush. Is there um, a competition going on? I feel like that would be a yes, so let me have a quick sneak peek here. Uh, the Challenge Cup, November Solo, Polo Stadium, Elite, I don't know. You'll have to give me a little more information than that. I cannot answer your question. Woes. Um, you love the new emote? Thank you, Alicia. Yeah, I'm going to be swapping up some of my emotes. Um, I figured... I wanted to finish the event with some of the witchy stuff, so I got rid of the potion bottle, but I kept the other Halloween ones, and then I'm gonna switch some stuff up um, for obviously our next major holiday, which is Christmas. I know for those of you guys in the US, you guys still have Thanksgiving, um, but hey, we celebrated that before Halloween, so I'm, I'm totally ready to have a little Christmas in my life at this point, um, and uh, start busting out the Christmas sweaters again soon. Hi, Sunny. Uh, it's a back piece. I uh, know it's to do quest. Um, I'll have to look into it, Seth, for sure. Uh, it sounds like something I'd obviously want to do. For sure. <laughs> pickle Rick. Oh, my gosh. I'm a pickle. Pickle Rick. Um, I actually, uh, my brother, it has like a, a Christmas sweater. And you push it or whatever, and it goes, it says, I'm a pickle. Pickle Rick! That's how I, I know it so well. The amount of times I've gone up and been like, hee <laughs> just for shenanigans. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great one. It's a great one. You can't wait for Christmas already. So true, right? I got Winifred to a two and finished the event. As I was doing this, my Facebook account was hacked and I had to delete it. Oh no! That is Horrible. Well, at least you got Winnie to a two, and uh, that means you can pretty much just wrap up the event. You have Winnie to a six, along with Sarah and Mary. Wow, you got all of them to a six. That is impressive. That must have cost you a couple too many gems there. A couple too many to get to a six. I mean, I guess if you bought the bundle um, for real money when she came out, maybe you were able to get enough tokens to do that, but even still, I feel like that's a bit of a stretch, but hey, good on ya for sporting the game. Woo! Means it stays forever. Hechu, thank you for the 25 months. It's over two years now. 
over two years. I feel like we need a special paw print for this. One that doesn't exist at the moment. Maybe it should just change to a freaking crown. You know, that's a really good idea. Huh. I'm going to look into this. I The person that made the paws for me, they they don't make they don't make emotes anymore, <laughs> which is super sad. So I can't add any more colors. Um, but yeah, I could. I love the paw print too much. I could never like. I I can't get rid of them. I can't get rid of them entirely. But we could. Pichu, thank you for the brilliant idea and the twenty five months. Yes. <gasps> what the heck? Uh, that is amazing. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy Winifred because I really want her, but I unlocked her welcome quest yesterday and the event finishes tomorrow. Uh, Kristen, it sounds like you are going to have to. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, I would probably go, unless you really, really want the um, the concession stand, just go for like the cheaper bundle and then that way like you'll at least have her and, you know, you'll feel like really accomplished with the event. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> new member email. Well, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Um, I know there's there's some changes coming up with YouTube and they're, like, expanding, like, what creators can have and, like, all this stuff. And uh, one of the things I think was I had to have somebody reach two years or whatever, or if it could be more than one person. I have to still look into it. Um, but, yeah, then it, it will unlock additional uh, time uh, badges or whatever so I haven't been able to but you may have just helped me to unlock that so we'll see we'll see um when if it drops are not working you know what yeah <laughs> I know I really I really feel you there um it has been interesting so I did level up Sarah though because I had um, 110 common tokens. Now this is, ex I have to take myself off so I can show you this. Um, 110 common tokens, it's really nice to be able to have that. Typically um, it's been a bit of a struggle, especially with the last event for turning red, bit of a nightmare. Um, but you need a lot to get uh, Sarah to a six. You need uh, 40 of each token and then 50 of the common. and. 2.7k currency in two hours of your time and Alvin thank you for the 12 months I can't believe I have been subscribed for a year oh you've been a member for a year you are awesome thank you so so much that is uh that is amazing I think your paw print should change now I think too <laughs> which is extra awesome you should have um I believe it should be the black and gold one now. So we'll see. We'll see if it changes during the stream. Make it a carrot bath badge. How would you have a small little tiny thing? What, would it just be a carrot? A wet carrot? Like, I, I don't know how you'd make something that small look like a carrot bath. What? Honestly, I don't even know. I can't even remember exactly where all that came in, but I remember it was just so funny. And now a carrot bath is like a thing that actually is considered. It's super weird. You know? I just, I don't even know anymore. I, I just don't even know anymore. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep. All right. So I leveled up Sarah. Um, and then I recorded this here for you guys to be able to see her welcome screen once again. Um, oh, Alicia, thank you for the $20 super. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, and that sticker. <laughs> Did you get a trophy for the event, girly? Sarah is now a level six. Aren't I ravishing? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I get to do her... Uh, Voice impression again today. <laughs> so my progress uh, yesterday, I did post it on Instagram um, on my gaming one. And uh, yeah, so I was missing two of each yesterday. I was very rattled because I uh, was very concerned that I wasn't going to get enough 
because the drops were so bad for like two days. I was not getting the ear tats. Then the funny thing was, is I got all the ear tats and then I was waiting on the broom, which made absolutely no sense whatsoever. It was an absolute disaster. And I'm like, so how did those damn ears hats just all of a sudden start dropping? And then the last broom took me like an extra half a day. So I was like, all right, whatever. But it is what it is, you know? It didn't change. Okay. Well, maybe maybe it'll be uh, after. Maybe you have to like refresh. Uh, Becky even says refresh. But yeah. <laughs> no, but you got a trophy for the event. That I did, actually. This beauty right here it was the event uh, trophy. I did get one, and I'm super, super happy about it. Book. Everybody loves the book, and uh, yeah, I think it's I, I think it's perfect for me. There was just no way I could go through this event and not have a trophy. You know, it just there was just no way. I've been really progressing now through the main storyline. I have welcomed the. Uh, chip the other day and I've unlocked Dale and then I started working on Fauna today. Thomas, that is a very busy time in your kingdom. You have so much to do and you are going to need so many tokens and magic. It's going to be wild, but you know what? It's such a great part of the storyline and I really hope you enjoy it. I seriously wish I could like go back in a lot of ways and do that all over again because uh, those were the days, you know? I Honestly, those were the days. I had so much content all the time. I could barely keep up with how quickly I was getting things done. But uh, it is so cool looking. Yeah, I like, I took um, a screenshot there. I kind of zoomed in and blew it up because I was like, yeah, I mean, it is awesome. And I cannot get this close to it as well in my kingdom. So I had to, uh, you know, obviously get this image outside of my kingdom so that I could kind of share that with you guys. You love it when Winnie says, boo. <laughs> I can't do it as well as her, but she also has like amazing vocals. But yeah, you have Miss Bianca to a three. Nils, very nice. I still have uh, Bianca to bring in, but you know what? Spoiler, I'm actually done finally collecting for her. <laughs> so very happy about that for sure. Um, You got Rapunzel's tower the other day. Chica, yay. Oh my gosh, honestly, it's a perfect size attraction um, for the kingdom. Like, more attractions, like, it, it's very proportionate as well to, like, it's not, you know how some of the ones these days, they, like, literally are just a bit bigger than a concession stand or, like, you know, um, you're like, uh, that should be bigger than that thing over there because it's, like, doesn't make any sense. Um it's it's actually just the perfect size. Like, I can't tell you, like, how great it is to have that. There are loads of areas you can put it, which is super duper nice. Um, it looks like the next update will be a tower challenge. It does look like we are getting a tower challenge, which is literally insane. Absolutely. Um, I really hope that we have... We have some opportunity to get some happiness without working too hard if we already have the character. And maybe that sounds a little bit like, uh, okay. But, uh, I mean, the Tower Challenge rerun, if we have the character and we're like, eh, we don't really need anything, you know? There should be an option for us, at least for these, to buy the costumes or something as well, too. Like, once we complete the chapter. I know they've been doing it with the princess ones. Um, fingers crossed Mulan gets in there for that. Uh, they keep tending to give like the basic ones for like either Cinderella or what was the other one that they they like to do a lot of? I um, don't think it's Aurora. I, I can't think. There's one other one that they like really like to do for comfy costumes and it's like uh, we all kind of have that now. So um, yeah and it literally Mulan's hasn't come back in a couple of years. So it it's totally nuts totally nuts and it would be a nice opportunity this year because we were supposed to wrap up three years ago when the Wreck-It Ralph event came right um we were supposed to wrap up all the comfy costumes for the princesses and Anna and Elsa still haven't got it so um I'm hoping this year that changes who would love 
to see Anna and Elsa finally get their comfy costumes. By the way, that attraction, it's so hard to find a spot that it like works or fits and it just doesn't like take up everything. I don't know what it is, but I just have not found like the golden spot for that. <laughs> it's such a hard one to fit in. But yeah. Uh, you still have to find Elsa. Oh, yeah. You need to have Elsa first. Yeah, that's that's definitely. Thomas, you'd like it. Hichi, you'd like it. Ryan, you'd like it. Yeah, see? It would just be really great. Um, They're giving us one hot cocoa in the calendar. Oh, yeah, the hot chocolate with the little cookie. Yeah, usually that means there's a tower challenge. It's like a massive giveaway when they do that. And then, too, oftentimes you'll know for, like, events starting and stuff like that if there's a secondary storyline they put a legendary chest in the calendar and stuff too so like there's little things that you can look for and again that hot cocoa one Sith you're right if you, if that's in there then it really signifies that there's going to be a TC so absolutely if it's in the calendar usually means this was coming because literally there's no other use for those right and they don't stock up from like TC to TC which is kind of unfortunate but um, again, not the end of the world, but I know I'd have like a hundred if that was the case. <laughs> For sure. Um, they're giving us extra hot cocos, which doesn't mean we're getting a TC. Well, the, the hot cocoa, like the refresh token is uh, same token, right? Hot cocoa token, the refresh token, same thing. Um, it's only used for the tower challenges, so, I mean, <laughs> it, it would have to be there for sure. Yeah. You hope you can welcome Elsa? Oh, for sure. It's that time of year, right? Um, doo -doo -doo. Who's, <laughs> I was trying, oh, Jack. I got Jack. I was like, Jack. I'm like, I have no idea who that is as a character. Got Jack from the Nightmare Before Christmas chest and can't wait to play fetch with Zero. That quest is awesome. And actually, um, if you guys send out uh, King Triton and Sebastian and then have uh, uh, Jack Skellington and Zero playing fetch and then you have the dwarfs as well, like... Uh, doing their 60 minute like you know washing up quests uh, it they'll all be all in the front there it's super super funny um you can also have I think it's um they may I think maybe they moved it or something there's a quest with Mickey and Pluto as well that has something around there uh Eeyore he floats in the water like there's a whole bunch of stuff you can have in around that area I keep forgetting about certain quests like that, but uh, yeah, it's pretty great. And if you have any like Finding Nemo stuff, then you'll see, you know, them kind of pop up or whatever. It's really funny to see Bruce pop up right behind King Triton. It's kind of spooky though. I'm always worried he's going to get eaten. Jack, Jack Skellington. No, I know Jack Skellington. <laughs> um... No, uh, it was it was written Jack, like J E C K, and I was like, who is Jack? And then I was like trying to think of who, um, like I just didn't finish reading the sentence, but uh, yeah, I was trying to think of like what character. There are a lot of Jacks, okay, in this kingdom. So, you know, <laughs> there's not just one Jack. It depends on where you are in the story, right? So it's just it's just one of those things. All right, let's. Uh, oh yeah, so I took a screenshot when I was literally waiting for that token. I was so rattled. I was like, no, I'm all ready. I really, really wanted to do my stream yesterday, but uh, I just I didn't have the token to do it. So, yep. But then I finally did, and I was very happy. So for Winnie, uh, there we go. 
for Winnie, uh, we needed five common tokens, which was really great. Didn't need a lot. 15 of her brooms, 12 of her ears hats, and 15,000 currency. Six seconds of your time, realistically, no biggie. I'm so happy now that they don't have it um, as like two hours or, you know, whatever. Because realistically, it's like we we don't have the time for that right so <laughs> um having to wait for your character like that especially when the event is like ending and stuff like that the six seconds is really nice i don't know why they wouldn't just put it as like instant but whatever i'm hoping for snow white to come back in the tower challenge um as a buyable character yeah it would have to be one of the uh one of the collections for sure yeah it would it would be nice to to have snow white be added for sure it's it's a nice collection to have right now yeah rock how are you doing all right uh okay here we go i was like where is the recording for this all right so bringing winnie into the kingdom winifred sanderson I still think they did something weird with their head, and it looks more like uh, the live-action Alice in Wonderland, like the Queen of Hearts, like, hands down. All right, here we go. So right away, she's looking for her sisters. Sister? <laughs> Sister? Sit. Ugh. What are we doing in this wretched place? I taste ugh, love and ugh, happiness. <laughs> oh, tis dreadful to be sure. Surely I would frolic with glee at the chance to ruin it all. Only... Uh, now that thou art here, sister, please tell me how were we going to go about doing that? Because I have no idea. <laughs> Quest complete. Welcome and the eldest sister. Ha! Tell me something I does not know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. She, uh, I think we're gonna get some, like, solid dialogue for this, for sure. Um, yeah, it's been a while, Rook, since you've been able to catch a stream, but I'm so happy you made it. Kyren, Emma, hi, guys. Uh, do you think all the events that we have had this year will come back as legendary chess? So like Hocus Pocus, Turning Red, and Up. Yes, I do. Up is the only one I'm kind of unsure about how they're going to go ahead and do things. Uh, especially with just a couple of the characters. Because obviously those were part of the season pass. And they haven't told us how we are going to be able to get those items at a later time. Um, if ever. I know they said it was going away. But I mean it's one of those things where it's like... I think it, they're missing out on a money opportunity if they don't bring them back one way or another. Um, but yeah, so again, I believe all of the collections should come back in Legendary Chess and we should start to see most of them come the new year. They tend to usually have sales that like are like 24 hour type of thing. So there will be stuff like that um, coming. Now Hocus Pocus could be a little longer than the New Year's so if we don't see it turn up in that kind of group. Um, it's just because it's like, it's it's borderline at this point if it's too new, you know. But uh, turning red and stuff like that definitely should uh, should hit the shops like around Christmas to the New Year. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting to know that you, like just because you didn't get everything from this event, you can still get it at a later date yes it's gonna probably cost you some gems or some real money or whatever right um or you know some streak in your calendar and getting lucky with the legendary chest like it could be a while right but they do tend to come back and when they do um you know that's the time to get them they don't stick around forever so yeah it should be there i'm assume um okay let's continue with the dialogue here in case you have forgotten, sister, we were trying to find the ingredients to the Magica Maxima spell. 
You know, the spell we must cast before All Hallows' Eve is at an end, so that we do not perish forever. Oh, yes, I knew it was something like that. Fool! What hast thou even been doing this whole... Oh, it is useless to argue with such a blockhead as thee. I am going to re-encounter this place, and I will do it myself. Sister Lee squabbles, send Winifred to get the lay of the land. Well, now, that is 60 minutes. That takes us into my actual kingdom. Sorry, it goes blank for that second. Jumps to that screen. Still don't know how to fix that. Um, so yeah, in we go, and we'll get this dialogue right away. You'd love Encanto. I'm surprised they didn't bring that this year, to be honest. But hey, you know what? I'm so happy about the Sanderson sisters. So, let's claim today's daily reward, which is a resource chest. So this will give us some character tokens, relics, and a couple blueprints, apparently. Yeah. All right, let's do the little chesty game. So the Kyber Crystal, what collection does this help to level up? And I'm looking for like the general term. You guys don't need to be specific, but if you want to, you can still get a chance at a shout out here. Ram the Last Dragon Relic Token. Name me one attraction that this relic would help to enchant. And uh, the Imperial Stormtrooper's Ears Hat. What collection is the Imperial Stormtrooper a part of? You can be general or a little bit more specific if you guys know the actual uh event but yeah <laughs> i will leave it to you guys try and put it all in one message so i can uh give you guys a full shout out here um i think we're getting 10 cocos on the 17th that's a lot of refresh tokens like in to for them to be able to give us like they usually don't just hand out stuff like that so yeah, Star Wars for the Kyber Crystal, the Fang Palace, and Star Wars. Kyron, you nailed it. That is perfect. <laughs> um, oh my god, I'm so happy. I bought the Winifred and the chest bundle, and I got Winifred and the money bin. Kristen, you are so lucky. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Good for you. Now, I bet you, you were glad that you bought it in the end, right? It was worth the money. <laughs> Definitely. Um, let's see. So we had Chiron with the, like, freaking great answer there. Um, Ren says Star Wars and Boone's Shrimp Boat. You are correct. And Jack says, Star Wars, the Fang Palace, and the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, let's, let's do one or two more. Um, Star Wars, the Fang Palace, the Stormtrooper is from Star Wars. Yes, cat. Um, yeah. The, oh, Sith came in here with uh, the Jade Palace. I like that. That's a, that's a great one as well. The, honestly, the attractions from that event were really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's do the dialogue here with Winifred. But Winifred has been flying around on her broomstick like a crazy person. Literally like a crazy person. It's very difficult to actually keep up with her when she does this. Like, what is... Eh, my finger just does not move quick enough. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can get it this time. Oh, oh. Perfect. <laughs> Winnie, before you say anything, I have been thinking about what you said. And I, I am no fool. I have been loyal and waited for thee and collected many ingredients and drank a very horrible potion. Sister, all is forgiven. I have seen this place, and we have wandered into for myself. And it is so unbelievably terrifying that I cannot even be angry at you. So, <clears throat> colorful. 
Quest complete. Sisterly squabbles. Ditzed. 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 I don't. I don't. Shakespeare. Ditzed. We take oh, out whatever. We trip and fall into a vat of confetti while I wasn't looking. I may be sick. <laughs> ah, good times. So there is Winnie roaming the kingdom. Now, you guys will have actually seen her wandering around the kingdom throughout the event. Um, she just had a big question mark on top of her head. And that actually, if you click it, it does take you to one of the bundles for her. So uh, she has been roaming, but now it's official. She will be here to stay. Come, sister. Perhaps there is still some of that ridiculous concoction thou mentioned earlier. Ooh, there is. I brewed leftovers just in case. But be careful. It has a real kick to it. Kick or no kick. With a few tweaks and the right magic words, it might be just what we need. Perfect potion. Send Sarah and Winifred to brew a potion at home. Yep. Now, Winifred needs to be a level two. So let's find out if I can get enough tokens for that. Jesse. Wow, we are in Ultra Zoom. Wow's awesome. It doesn't look like we've gotten anything so far, which is kind of sad. But, um... Oh, come on! Give me a break here. At least give me one. No, really? Why? I really don't understand why they're not giving me just just one. That's all I'm asking for. It's just just literally one. I'll I'll gem the other one, but I just don't want to gem both. It's gonna be like sixty gems. They're, they're like seriously. Oh, one minute, one minute. Okay, this is perfect. We can wait for this. My gold trophy is right here. Actually, Sarah is right in front of it. We'll get her to move, and then we should be able to see it. Well, if we could move it off to the side like we once could there. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. Um... Don't forget there's no live stream for DMK this month. Instead, I think it's going to be a video walkthrough, which will be on November 11th, and a short one. Oh, well. I'm glad we have uh, a date for that, Becky. I didn't read anything on that just yet, but... Uh, I can. Aw. <laughs> Sending hearts back. Um, I'm giving... You're giving up at this point. Oh, no. Never give up. You can do it. How long does he have? Four hours. Ew. Um, there we go. Please. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We didn't? Like, what does this game want from me? Now, this has one minute. Perfect. It's probably not going to happen because it's going to get the common token is dead, but I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll see what happens. Okay, 12 seconds.
I mean, he literally doesn't give it to me usually, but could this be like the one exception right now? That'd be really nice. Nope. He doesn't give a crap about me, obviously. Wow, it's like ultra zoom day. Okay, so that shortened it down to... Six minutes, so that's fine. I have stuff I can do for six minutes here. Oops. Fred! Wow. Wow. So visible. Well, that'll keep us entertained for a minute. If we get an Encanto event, they'd have to make the Casita. Oh, definitely. Now, I have a question. Does anybody wonder if um, Encanto would be something they would do, you think, for maybe permanent content because of the amount of characters and stuff like that? Do you, does anybody think that's actually possible? Of course I did, Seth. Of course. Wah. <laughs> um, let's see. This is pots. Oh, frig. I know I've showed you guys this quest so much, but I literally can't send her home. It's just way too good of a quest. No, you don't think so? It would be an event. Either way could work. I reckon Encanto would be an event, but only a certain amount of the characters, like Mirabelle, Abuelo, and Bruno. By the looks of how they've been doing things, like I feel like if they do it as an event... They're going to sting on the amount of characters, most likely. And then, you know, again, I feel like people would be kind of unhappy that they didn't get certain ones. I know they can bring it in a TC, like, at a later time or do something else. But, um, I don't know. I, I'm... I feel like it, if, if they had kept with their you know bigger like events right and had you know seven characters and all that kind of thing honestly Encanto would be perfect at this point how they do events though if they're all like really small like this I don't know I don't know it's really um I think it's actually really quite tough to say I think at this point Ooh, a little chesty game here. Ming Li. What collection is Ming Li a part of? And name me one of the Alice in Wonderland um, attractions. That this relic would help to enchant. One message for a chance at shadows. Again. Alrighty. Happiness. That is something I need to keep working on here and collecting for. There's Stitch, guys. <laughs> He's so cute and happy, honestly. I can hardly wait till he shows up in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I would love a new area. Me too, Emma. Honestly, I've been waiting for land for like ever at this point. I'm just so rattled. We got nothing. Like, they, they have to stop giving us stuff until they unlock some land. Like... There's just too much at home now. It doesn't even make any sense. And, like, people have so much magic. I mean, I've got 23 million. Like, what is going on here? It just seems crazy at this point that we, like, still don't have all the land in this freaking game. 
Like, it was different, like, if we had all this land already given to us, and then they're like, oh, you know, like, we're having trouble, like, expanding, you know, to have, like, another area for, like, all the, like, for land. But the thing is, is it's just, like, they're holding on to, like, five pieces of land still. Five pieces of land. For over five years, this has been in the shadows. Like, what is going on? Like, we need this land. We have too much stuff now. Uh, it's crazy. Yes, we'll need a new area in time for sure. But I think, you know, it's just like... Ah! <laughs> um... Did I get something for completing the event? No, you don't. You just get like a congratulations thing. Um, I was waiting to see though on uh, a couple of things here. Okay, let's uh, skip this along here. Really? Oh my gosh, I swear this game hates me. You guys have seen how many times I've already gone for the drops, right? Like, it's nuts. I don't exactly want to send, like, people out, though, at this point. Like... I swear, this is just so unfair. What is happening right now? Like, I've used all of my freaking tokens and, like, nothing. Like, are you guys seeing this? This is, the, but the, this is the reality of it, right? Like, I mean, I went ages without getting any drops. And now we're on to gems. Like, what is happening right now? I am out of refresh. No way. Or not refresh, um, time tokens. Okay, let's see if Jesse gives me better luck. Nope. <laughs> we should have counted how many times this was gonna be, like seriously. What the actual heck? Well, if anyone was curious about how bad the drops were, there is your answer. And I technically need two. Like, I'm sorry. It's just shameful. Like, I may as well just buy it out at this point with, like, actual just 100 gems. A hundred gems, though. Like, why?
I'm just speechless at this point. At this point, just buy it out. It just seems ridiculous that I actually have to, like, do that, though. Like, 100 gems is so, so much for that. Like, there's no way I would have thought in a million years that, like, I wasn't gonna get any of those freaking drops. Even after gemming and using all my time skips and getting a full round of collecting. Like, I have busted my butt on this. This is crazy. They really need they really need to have a better system for this. They need to fix it. It's it's broken. It doesn't work. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry you guys actually have to see how bad this is. Like I've definitely spent 30 over 30 gems now and all my refresh tokens and everything. Don't waste your gems buying or tokens. But I really wanted to finish this dialogue for you guys. I don't know how long this quest is now. I'm kind of nervous, but... Um... Yes, we got one. <laughs> so the last one's going to be 50 gems. Um... Okay, I'm doing it. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good, but you know what? It's a stream, I am I have no choice. No choice, okay. Um, let's, let's bring her back. Well, now you've seen all of their welcome screens today. How would you rank them? I'd have to say Winifred gets number one for welcome screen, um, then Sarah, and then Mary for me. They're all very similar. They're all very good. Um, but that would be the order I would do it in. And uh, yeah, she's now a level two. Let's run amok. Okay, so brew a potion at home. That's only 60 minutes. So that's really good. Sarah! It's not fair, Hunter, I agree. Not fair. I was hoping we'd actually get to see them brew the potion. But uh, they seem to have gone inside. Alright, here we go. We finally can do the dialogue. Yes! Ha ha ha! Yes! Before this night is through, we will cast the most powerful spell this strange new land has ever seen. Oh, hooray! Because we are casting it together. And because our sisterhood is most unbreakable, bound of all. Uh, right? Sarah, dear, now is really not the time. Quest complete, perfect potion. If I'm to learn a heartwarming lesson about sisterhood, I'll have it for the end of the night. Yay! Okay, and that's screenshot worthy because I finished it and it makes me happy. It'll probably just stay in my pictures forever, but whatever. It's fine. I have done it. Finally! <sighs> It's done. But it means that 
As of tomorrow, though, we get like a whole spam amount of dialogue. It is going to be nuts um, because each one is going to get their side quest stuff, um, which is all the dialogue that comes post event. So all the dialogue you've had in this event, guys, is limited to the event. All right. Well, you won't get that again. However, you are going to get additional dialogue when this is done. So if you guys do get um, the Sanderson sisters in like a year or something like that, you'll get a whole bunch of dialogue that will be um, available just for everyone. Um, and I'll be able to get that. And everyone else will as well uh, once the event is over. So uh, yeah, just so you guys know all that dialogue this time, you guys will not get to hear it again because uh, that's it. You don't if you don't get it you just don't get it hey pete's playing golf he's a pretty good golfer he's a pretty good golfer Sven, hi um i've been watching on my tv but now i'm at a keyboard <laughs> nice i was gonna say you missed some good dialogue but i guess you didn't miss anything so the only quest now that I have is to welcome Bianca, but I am not doing that today. I want to make sure I get all of these guys leveled up, um, and I feel like now I I will do that. Definitely do that. So the question is who to start with here. Penny? She's four hours now. Bianca? Well, we know she's six seconds. Eight hours. So I guess I'll start here with Orville. So for a four, he needs 40 of the um, message in a bottle, 10 of his hat, and then uh, um, pilot hat, I guess, and then 10 of his ears hat. Now you guys do see that for the other token there, I actually do have like a bunch more. But uh, the one thing with that is, is that that's just coming from the attraction. So I'll still need to collect some more. But it is nice to have a little bit of that overflow. And then there'll be less like conflicts and stuff. And then it's 8.8k for magic, which is literally I can get that in like an hour if I want. So it's not a big deal. So that'll be 60 minutes of my time there. But as I said, no big deal. Um... Now, in terms of the event, guys, I still have 92 of the common token, so of the, the black flame candle. So realistically speaking, at this point, I would like to try and get people leveled up again. Now, Winnie, probably not. As you guys saw, the drops for her are, like, horrendous. So, you know, for... Ooh, did you guys see that in her hand? Watch her hands, guys. Whoa, I wish I could do that with my hands to have that freaking come. Um, but yeah, I think I think what I've done here for this little area is actually pretty cute. Pretty cute. Um, in terms of my leaderboard placement for another trophy, um, so I was uh, in the, well, me and Leo were having it out. Um, and... Nicoletta, I think she was there too. She's gone up a little bit there. But uh, all of a sudden, I have no idea. Dinu or Donu and then Avi came out of nowhere. And uh, they just kind of blew by. Um, so, yeah. In the night, I did not notice they had that many. But all of a sudden, they had that many, uh, you know, when I checked before my stream. And I was like... Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting a second book because I'm not gemming for this. And these guys are obviously going to be gemming it out, these two. So, um, you know, they're going to be spending some dollars on that. So that's why I typically like to get the trophy in the first or second leaderboard event. And then even if that means I like, I miss out on like a, some token drops or like some currency stuff, I'll leave it even for a day or like, you know, until like 10 or something like that. The next day, so that way I at least can do a couple of my season uh, pass kind of quests, which by the way, I do have some rewards for now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really tricky to get on an easier leaderboard and get these trophies. So I have my system to do it. Again, it does take a bit of a hit on certain things, but it does mean I get to have a bit of a life 
you know, for a day during the event. So <laughs> it does mean I can work and play like some other stuff. So it's not too bad. Tesco, hi. Um, check your kingdom pass and happiness. Oh, well, here, here you have it right here, James. Um, I do have some rewards. So my, my kingdom pass, I'm at level 46, working towards 47. So I know it's kind of small for you guys probably to see, unless you guys are watching me on TV. Uh, but I have 230 happiness of the 415. So, um, you know, obviously I'm... Oh, and I, there are some time tokens. That's nice. Oh, and I, I don't know if I... I don't think I included it in my screenshots. Um, but I did get an attraction... Two attraction enchantment chests. One was for my streak, and then one was actually from uh, uh, from my kingdom pass, and I didn't get Splash Mountain again. But ooh, okay, chesty game, guys. This one will be, I think, pretty easy. So the plate of spaghetti token. What collection does this help to level up? And then the Imperial Stormtroopers blaster token. Um, obviously it belongs to Imperial Stormtrooper. So, uh, what collection is he a part of? Sparkle hands? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Like, honestly, I'm kind of jumping into it, but sparkle hands make chocolate disappear. <laughs> Um, Steffi's way to do trophies has been what I've been doing, and it works so well most of the time. Well, thank you, Sven. I'm glad it's actually working for someone else besides me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I obviously, like, you know, tell you guys or whatever, and, like, I know it works, but, um, you know, if you kind of do that throughout, like, it works out quite well, usually. And not everybody does it right now, so it's it's kind of nice to have that boost. But it's I'm happy to hear that it's working for, for others as well. Um, I didn't do that with the this current leader work, so I was more worried about uh, getting Winnie. And that's why I don't like to leave um, doing getting the trophy for the very last leaderboard because you're so focused on trying to get tokens for that last character unless you're buying that last character if you're planning to buy the last character i would totally say just forget about it like just leave the game for a day and you'll be totally fine because you're buying it right and you'll still get your dialogue done and whatever but like if you're not it's easier to do it in like the first or second leaderboard event so yeah honestly i wouldn't mind tying people because then that means you like all kind of get it but i've tr i've played that game before and um, then at the, like the last few seconds, someone will, you know, click a couple of uh, um, of characters for trophies or whatever, and then they beat you at the very last second. And then it's like, oh my gosh, we could have tied and both had our dream. Remember I got played a fool for Mickey's 50th um, costume? Oh yeah, that was real shit. Sparkle hands. I freaking love it. It's sparkle hands. I got reflections attraction in the chest ones. Chica, that's awesome. That is a really, really great, uh, really great attraction. So Lady and the Tramp and Star Wars. Chiron got it. Um, Kat, you went a step further and uh, listed the um, enchantment as well. Uh, who else did it? I thought I saw one other person do it. Oh, two other. Tabitha and Kristen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. Chatting away here. Um. I have to say, okay, just one, like, side thing. It's been super duper nice to be able um, to get the chests open in a day like it's super easy because during an event you have the mystery chests right so that mystery reward that you can get in there those chests count towards the open 10 chests in a day and it's been super great to be able to get that like the event rewards and have the extra chests around right because um, once in a while if you're not planning to open your game like three or four times a day 
sometimes with the 10 chests, it's almost like the happiness, like the wishes. It's it's a similar thing. Sometimes you can miss out on things like that. Like they just don't spawn enough. Um, or if you've watched your ads type of thing or needed it for the previous day, right? So if you have a bunch of chests in your kingdom at the start of the day, it's usually great, right? But if you're like, use them all up right before the next day starts, it's it usually affects that following day. So I found it really quite nice to have that. Did I put four in? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oops, I meant to only put two in, but I think I put more than that. Oops, whatever. No biggie, I have so many. Um, now the weeklies did refresh as well. Uh, oops. Where was I going here? I think I missed it. Yeah, I didn't get two of them done. The eight hour ones, I'm surprised they didn't get that done. But the other one is always the wishes. Like I'm always super close, but I can never quite get enough. Drives me bonkers. I think it like if it was 40, I would have been like barely okay. But the 50 in a week, I don't know what it is, but I just, I seem to have like, because it's character, right? It's not just wishes in general. Has to be specifically from characters, and especially during event that's like extra hard because a lot of the times like those characters, they want you to use the wishes for like Woody or whatever. They go out for like longer quests, right? Or like Cinderella and Prince Charming. Like they go out for like, you know, 12 hours or eight hours sometimes, right? And you you can't realistically have that, right? And to waste like an hour, it's not six minutes anymore. Super crazy. Um, okay, so I have no characters to send out. Um, I've done that. So the season passed. Nothing's really changing. I'm at 299 now. Um it was nice though, guys, if you guys did get all the characters from the event, it did give a whole bunch of happiness. And this will be really important when the tower challenge rolls around as well. Um, you're going to have like, oh, complete all of chapter one or whatever. And then you guys, you'll be able to um, get a whole bunch of happiness, which will help with your season pass. So if you guys didn't particularly do awesome on this event or didn't get all three characters or whatever, you will have missed out on some of it. But um, the tower challenge will be a nice way that hopefully that will make up for some of it. Or if you guys have been doing all of it to kind of get ahead and then not worry so much about um, whether you're able to finish it or not. I wasn't able to finish it last time, but hopefully this time I will. But uh, it's iffy. Iffy. You like the kitty one? Okay, so a little spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. That emote actually moves. So on Twitch, it moves. It's a, yeah. It, it looks so much cuter. If you think the kitty one's cute now, <laughs> I'm not joking. You're going to love it come Twitch time. Yeah, and I am doing Twitch today, just so you guys know, so. Binky! I love this game too. It's great. Even though it frustrates me sometimes, I still love it so much. Um, just I just do. It's great. Oh, this land though. Damn it. I'm not happy with things. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing, guys. Did I just see something? Oh, that was weird. I thought I just saw a, like one of the kids with for happiness for like an attraction. Huh. I think I'm seeing things. Um, I'm thinking about moving Frozen over here, but I don't know. Like, I really like how this has turned out here. I think this area looks awesome. Um, but I don't know if it's all going to fit. Has anybody tried putting um, Big Hero 6? Maybe besides, like, um, the lab. But, like, all the ones I have here, all the way up to, uh, I guess, the Golden Zephyr. Has anybody tried putting all of this stuff here in the front? I'm afraid it won't fit, and for me to pull it apart and then try and put it back together would be, like, horrible. But, yeah. Yeah, I moved, I removed the potion, because I was, I was gonna, I put the kitty one there. 
Um, but yeah, now I'm going to change over to some more holidays, some festive ones. Uh, hopefully for, well, I'll say I'll, it'll be done hopefully by the start of next week. Um, I want to get it done earlier, but uh, I'm deciding on which ones I'm putting where right now. And I'm having a hard time deciding. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, eh, we'll see. Doesn't take that long to do, but the decisions on like the names for them and like which ones I want. I hate being limited because like Twitch is now allowed like so many. Before I could only have like five and that was it. Um, but now like I can have so, so many. But for YouTube, I'm still limited. I have, a, I'm still fortunate enough to be able to have like a lot for you guys, but it could be, it could be so much more. <laughs> Uh, I still have some you guys even haven't even seen now, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I don't know why it hasn't changed, Albin. It might just be something. Um, uh, maybe maybe you renewed it like a day earlier than what your uh, I don't know than what your account has said. You know what I mean? Because you're at. 12 months but it could be like you're at like you know you're one or two days off from that you know what I'm trying to say or it could just be because it's during the stream and it just hasn't changed yet but it should change hopefully by the next one so you'll have to you'll have to t stay with the red one for today <laughs> by the looks of it um, will the Winifred tokens go down in rarity once the event is over? No. No, it's going to stay. So a good example for that um, that I can actually show you will be um, right here. Okay, I'm going to actually just buy this scroll. Um, will be like Yoda. So his is legendary. They were legendary during the event. That did not change. Um you will you will see that as like a regular thing um the common tokens again they stay common like realistically nothing changes here now some of it i'm kind of like maxed on but yeah any dreamlight valley today i thought about it but i think i'm gonna stick just with uh with dmk for today and then just work on um some other stuff that i i need to do and then head on Twitch maybe a little earlier for you guys. And then that way we'll have like an earlier Twitch stream. So that's, that's what I would like to do. I'd like to end maybe a little earlier, but also go on a little earlier. Just is saying a little different today. It might be nice. Mm. Okay, yep, that's it for the event. I guess I have nothing else to do. Except, of course, share with you, finally, how my characters ended. I don't think I'll be leveling up Sarah again because she needs 60 tokens, and yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Um, but Sarah ended at a level 6. Winnie's ending at a level 2. I, again, I don't know if I'm going to get the drops in a day for that, as you guys saw. I'm kind of annoyed with how many gems I had to spend today on that. That was stupid. Um, and then Mary, I got to a five. She has the potential, though, to be a six by the end of the event. So if that happens, I'll share that with you guys um, uh, for my next DMK stream. So, yeah. I should be doing Dreamlight tomorrow, though. So that uh, that'll be good. Boo. Boo. Are you sad I'm not doing Dreamlight today? Kitty pizza party stream. Ooh, I would love to get myself a pizza and have a little party with you guys on stream. Dreamlight, I'll try and do Dreamlight tomorrow. Um, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel good again yesterday and the day before. It was like, I think I, again, I just pushed myself a little too much. So, um, I feel like today I want to kind of, I feel good. I want to ah, go too like crazy, but I think if I do do longer streams today, I'll save it for Twitch and give that a little little bonus there. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll get up and be fresh for eleven. Yep, eleven. Mm -hmm. 
And that, um, guys, the event will be over for DMK, like, in 24 hours and 46 minutes. So, yeah. It's going to be good. And so probably for the next uh, DMK stream, what I'll do is I'll welcome in Bianca um, with you guys. So what I'll probably try and do is get her to a level 2, though, before I schedule that um, and kind of just go from there. And I want to get these guys leveled up as well. So it's going to take a bunch of the common tokens from me. But that'll be fine. Actually, she's going to be totally like almost ready to go again. That's so funny. Same with him. Like, look, I have 162 of 40. That's awesome. She's going to be a problem, though, because only Remy gets those damn perfume bottles it's so ridiculous i haven't made any progress on it yet sith but um i'm hoping to in the next uh next few days pull it back up again am i feeling better i i don't know i feel good today but i i felt like crap the last two days though yeah it's been bad <laughs> i don't know but Hopefully, hopefully I get over it soon. I just, yeah, I just, I feel like really burnt out and I'm just exhausted. Yeah. My, all, like, my mind is just tired. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, and with that, I think it's, like, literally, like, my mind is so tired and everything and, like, I don't know, maybe it's just like life stresses or something like that, but it's like physically making me super ill as well. So it's like one of those things, it's like a bit of a combo. So um, yeah, I need to just figure it out, work through it. And I know you guys have been super great being patient with me here on uh, on some of it, but uh, I'm doing what I, I'm doing what I can for now. But I have been putting videos up for you guys, okay? You guys have been getting daily videos from me now, so. I am at least happy I can put that out for you guys. And I want to work on some Dreamlight stuff, like actual, like, content um, for the next, like, little bit as well. So that'll be nice to be able to get some original content up like that, maybe, like, later in November or something like that. But I don't want to make any promises with that just yet. Rest and not push yourself. We love you no matter what. Thanks so much, Pichu. You're so sweet. What did you miss? Oh, not too much. Uh, I just went over my character levels for the event. That, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll go back here. I'll show them again since I'm just here anyway. They said that the Hocus Pocus... Hocus Pocus collection isn't complete. Now they did say it was based off of Hocus Pocus 2, which would be which is like if they decide to stick with that it would be kind of sad because I like I want Banksy or Banks, sorry, and um and Billy, but I would also like to see like Danny and stuff like that too. I think they would be like really great. I I, I don't really care to see like the Hocus Pocus 2 characters in here. I don't know. I guess I just, I don't find them very, like, they're, not, they're just not the classic. I mean, if they if they can add them in, but we should also get, like, Danny and, you know, everybody else. So, uh, eh. I, have, I have mixed feelings about them expanding uh, too much with Hocus Pocus. Billy and Binks. Sure, but Banks didn't even show up in Hocus Pocus 2, so I don't know how they're really going to pull that off. But, uh, yeah. Maybe Dory Brain makes your mind burned out fa burn out fast? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just, I'm tired. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working really hard. Just in life and stuff I if you know I did experience this though like um not last year but the year before like after I did, had done the 31 days of Halloween I don't know if it's like just becoming like a thing and last year I was tired and I didn't even do it but like I know we had that big move and stuff last uh like in the last year or whatever right so it was 
was just the summer and fall we were just crazy still getting things like organized and sorted but um yeah it was just I'm just tired <laughs> I don't know what else to say I don't I don't typically take holidays even on my days off I'm like I got just do life stuff so yeah it's maybe a little burnt out um Wait, what? Maybe they will add all of the characters. I mean, like, have baby Yoda and then, like, normal Yoda. Well, we have we have Grogu and we have Yoda, which is awesome. Oh, those are our other ones. Do, do, do. Like, we have here, like, we have Grogu already. He was, he was labeled the child, and then he was Grogu, and now he's the child again. So I don't know. They keep changing the name of him, but we know it's Grogu. Um, honestly, it was such a cute name. Wait, Mando's not maxed out? Or Boba, I mean? No, Boba's not maxed out. Oops. I think I forgot about him. Lando needs to be done. I think Yoda. Yeah, I forgot about Yoda. Yoda needs some serious freaking work. But yeah, there's Yoda as well, so... We have them, and they're awesome. Actually, speaking of, like, the Star Wars, Fortnite has Luke and Leia now. Did anybody freaking see that? Banks and Billy for next year in October. Oh, could we please? That would be so great, like, honestly. I freaking love them. I can max out Boba in his costume. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Abby! Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, since you brought up Genshin, freaking unbelievable that you're doing so well in that. But I, I can't believe that the, um, the new Dendro five-star is like as OP as she is. I haven't, I haven't tested it or anything like that, but... Um, Apparently, like, the attacks are super cool and stuff, so I really want to test her out soon. Um, we all did it and posted it in the Discord. Oh, okay. I didn't look... I, I don't look at the Fortnite Discord enough. You're right. There's a couple of the text channels I don't check as often, like the YouTube, the Twitch, um, the Just Chatting, and, like, uh, Reactions. But, yeah, DMK, Fortnite... They tend to take a backseat. Dreamlight, I, I check a lot. I think actually these days I almost wonder if that's like the most common one that I check. I just, I love seeing what you guys have in the stores or what you do with your setups or your outfits. Like, hands down, Dreamlight Valley is golden for that. Like, I just, I just love it so much. I just love it so, so much. You have her and her weapon? Oh my gosh. I got the uh, the crew again. I honestly, I thought about not getting it because I was just so... Like, to spend $20 on, like, an outfit, like, I don't like again. It just feels ridiculous. But the V-Bucks are worth it, I guess. Um, but... I hope that they do come out with a good one for next month because, like, I was totally expecting some, I don't know, more interesting skins. Like, the first few crews that we had were amazing, and then they've been slowly, like, becoming crappier and crappier. Like, I, I, don't, I don't understand how it's even possible. My kingdom's made. Oh, do you want to see my whole kingdom? Here, I can take you around for an extra minute here. If you haven't seen it. I love showing off my kingdom. I, I've worked very hard. There's still holes in it though right now because I moved a bunch of shenanigans around. There's a couple things I'm not happy with. But it takes so long. <laughs> and I constantly have to break it up because your phone gets either too hot or it dies. Um, like here, I don't know what to put. Like, I, honestly, I can put concessions, I guess, maybe. But... There's nothing small enough really to go there. And I feel like these colors like are way better together than, yeah, it's tricky anyway. It's a me problem. 
Yeah, this is not done. I almost thought about putting Toy Story back here again because it looked so, so good. But I haven't. You don't even get what he's supposed to be. I don't either, to be honest. Like, he's bizarre. Like, his little face mask is kind of interesting, but... Yeah, I was kind of hoping that they were going to put, like, uh, summer... I don't want to say summer links, but, like, you know, do some other concept based off of some, like, old Battle Pass skins. Right? You know how there's, like, the little Red Riding Hood one in Fortnite? Like, I was hoping that they would, like do some sort of like other concept with that with like a red cape or something and like even just some like black leggings whatever but like anything just put something like that in there they don't need to make it you know exactly the same obviously but just do something a little different and then that way we get like some of those types of things right or they could have done like a male version that could have been cool like a wolf People would have been all kind, like, you are so behind on the Archon quest. I am, Abby. I really am. Yeah. It's uh, very depressing. I love the structure of your kingdom. It all matches up perfectly. I'm speechless. I wish my kingdom looked like that. <laughs> well, you know what? I've made, you know what? I One of the things that I love to do, and Emma, since you brought it up, I love talking about this um, every now and again. But it, what I love to do is like match up collections to like their themes. So, you know, again, like Big Hero 6 with um, like Turning Red and then Mulan. It just, it just looks super good. Like you wouldn't, a lot of the time, like if you look, like this is from Big Hero 6, San Francisco, and then the Lantern attraction is for Mulan. But yet they look so good side by side, you know? It's just, it's just one of those things where I'm like, oh my gosh. It's not perfect here yet. I Now with the Golden Zephyr, it has thrown a wrench in my plans because it doesn't really fit um, without me using yet another section of land. But I'm trying to figure out how to make that work. So this is messy, but... And back here, I've, I've only been happy with it once and I can't get it back to the old days for whatever reason. So that I, I don't know, but some of them I refuse to move now. Like, there's just, there's just no way. Um, did you realize his hair is an actual octopus? I did, I thought they were like dreadlocks, but yeah, I guess, I guess it could be like an octopus, right? Um, I've only played DMK for like a year. Can someone please explain what the tower challenge is all about and how they work? Your kingdom is literally perfect. <laughs> well, thank you. I've done like a speed build, like when I had a smaller kingdom. Um, I do have like videos like that around. Um, in terms of the tower challenge, I think I have the pling on. Um, oops, knock my mic off. Hopefully my bot decides it's going to work. Come on, give it to me. My bot is on, right? Like, it's been here, no? Why do I feel like it's not? I'll refresh it. Now, the tower challenges have changed a little bit since I've done, like, my demos and explanations for the tower challenge. But, like, essentially, they're still the same. Um, usually at the start of the tower challenges... Oh, wow. It woke up to Gord. Seriously? Wow. I'm so offended. Um, but I usually go over um, things at the start. So... I don't know. 
Oh, there we go. So there's a tower challenge playlist, and there I have like two specific videos where I show, um, like I have like the you know how it works and da da da. So thank you, Sven, for doing that as well. Awesome. Um, like how it works, how to do it, that type of thing. But any of the the tower challenge like streams and stuff like that as well. Um, if you want to see like what they looked like and stuff like that live, like even more recent, I usually go over how to do it and everything. So, yeah, really any of them can help you, but there are a couple of vids in there that uh, I made a few years ago that that kind of go over it. So hopefully that helps. You're going to send me an amazing gift on Fortnite tonight? Ooh, I'm excited. Well, make sure if you're buying me any presents, you use my code. Actually, you know what? I was really sad. I went ahead and got myself something, and... Um, I I swore I saw my code in, but then I was going to buy something else. And then I was like, oh, my God, it's gone. So I don't know if it, like, just disappeared or, like, what exactly happened. But, yeah, anyways, it was, uh, it was really crummy. <laughs> it's amazing how, like, there isn't a notification pop-up for, like, the code disappearing. It drives me bonkers. I hate, I hate when that happens. It's like one of the like most discouraging things ever. <laughs> For whatever reason, it just, I'm really bothered by it. I'll never get tired at looking at your kingdom. Aw, thanks. I don't know where the speed build is, but for a smaller kingdom, it was actually, I know like there's newer stuff or whatever, but here, I'll see if I can find that for you. It took me so long, but I managed to do, here it is. It's 33 minutes, okay? But this was on like two times or five times, I don't know, friggin' whatever, speed. Um, I did want my kingdom like reorganization like in the last year or whatever um, on uh, like in a stream for like six hours. But yeah, that's a bit old, but it uh, it is all decorated pretty and a little differently, I think, too. Not my main area in the front. This I like. I'm too obsessed with the change, but. What can I say? You gotta go attend a meeting for an hour. Oh, of course, Alicia. Thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it, girl. Hopefully, I'll get to see you um, later on Twitch. Actually, we have you as, um, as queen, so. Yeah, I have to change my plings up, actually. Actually, you know what's, you know what, though, guys? Technically, I've done everything now for my kingdom. So, I think I'm heading out, too. So, I can get ready for, uh, for Twitch there, do a couple of things with my dream light, and get some food. And then, yeah, I'll head on Twitch. So, I'll probably be on Twitch, guys, by, like, um like four or something like that. So that way we can we can start a little earlier and I'll end a little earlier. So yeah. If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, my bot should be awake now if you want to uh, playing it or playing social for any of the other stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. If you haven't liked the stream already, guys, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up for me. And I will see you tomorrow um, on YouTube for Dreamlight Valley. Bye, guys.